Perhaps no deal sparked a bigger battle this season than Kickspike. Daryl and Colleen Bachman came for a million dollars for 10% of their company, and Robert climbed aboard right away. So here's what I'll do. I'll give you the million dollars for 30% of the company, contingent on getting a licensing deal. Robert's aggressive offer sparked a bidding war with Brett. Robert, you say one more word and I'm going to top your bid. <laughs> Brett. There you go. million oh. bucks for a quarter, and I'll let any of these three in that want to play. I play in that as well. Then Kevin circled the company. Yeah, yeah, but why are we killing ourselves for five points? Why are we doing that? Well, what's an extra point make? It doesn't matter. It could be worth a fortune over the next 20 years. I actually yeah, think this thing could go. But all this money's for charity anyway. I understand Your that. kids have enough, my kids have enough. No, no, wait a minute. No, no, no. I don't think that way. I'm th saying I know we're taking a million dollar advocate. risk. I say... I think there's a lot of people who, uh, who push and squeeze the nickels and the dimes, and I don't know for what benefit. I just don't get when you're worth a 50 or 100 or 500 million, why are you nickel and diming anybody? Whether we owned, in the case of uh, Kickspike, whether we own 25% or 30% of that deal, absolutely irrelevant. Did the rest of the dragons want to nickel and dime the guy? To some degree. I don't, you know, he's, he's being way too nice. That's the problem. He's bringing an element of charity into something that has no room for charity. The whole role of capital is to go out there and multiply itself. I like to wake up in the morning with one task. I want to fall to sleep at night richer than I woke up.